After the show, Albert Hammonds joined us for an exclusive interview. He spoke about life in Gibraltar, his career and how it all started. I was eight years old. I was a choir, I was head choir boy at the Church of the Holy Trinity and I used to sing solos on a Sunday. Um, and I, at that time I just knew that I wanted to sing. And then when I was 10 or 11, um, I picked up a guitar and started to strum a couple of chords and um, I, I, I just said to myself, you know, it'd just be great to write songs and sing, you know, and, uh, and that's what I did, you know. I've never done anything else except take phones apart and try to put them together and leaving out a lot of pieces, you know, because I could never do that. It's been 40 years of ecstasy, you know, I've, uh, I've uh, met a lot of great people in, in my life. Um, um, I, I, I'm very proud to, to have done this because it made my parents proud and my family and uh, I'm sure a lot of people in Gibraltar have been proud of me um, and uh, uh, I mean I, I don't know I'm a, I'm a little overwhelmed tonight <laughs> you know it's like maybe tomorrow I could say a little more but tonight I'm just like you know totally overwhelmed you know it's uh, it, you know, being there with all those great writers and artists and, uh, you know, some getting awards and some just being there because, because they are great writers and they've received the awards, you know, is, is, is just an incredible thing. You know. So it's been 40 years of hits. Uh, what's your secret to writing great songs? I don't have a secret. Uh, um, I just, I suppose I, I have some passion in me and uh, emotions and... Uh, um, I like riding on buses and on uh, subways because I get to know the, the, the reality of what the world is rather than limousines, you know, even though I came tonight in a limo, you know, but uh, um, uh, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, just knowing what life is about and, um, and just expressing yourself in the best way you can, you know. When, when you're against wars, you write about that. When, you're, when you fall in love, you write about that. When, you, when a fly bothers you, you write a song like Just Another Fly, you know. <laughs> well, you've enjoyed an extremely successful career, but was there any point during that career when you thought, I'm not going to be able to make it, I'm going to fail? Oh, yeah. I, I, after Little Arrows, I thought, I w I'm going to be a one-hit wonder, you know. Uh, but, um, you know, I, was, I guess I was blessed, you know. I, I uh, 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 had a lot to do with my upbringing, you know. My, uh, uh, my, my parents were very good people, and they allowed me my freedom, uh, the real freedom, and... Uh, and I was, uh, you know, I made some mistakes in my life, you know, but then I think we all do. Uh, but that, I think, helped me to uh, find myself and to go where I wanted to go, rather than where other people want you to go. You mentioned your upbringing there. What are your recollections, your memories of Gibraltar as a child? Oh, it's, it, it, I mean, I always tell people, you know, uh, um, at least when I grew up, you know, I, I, I don't know what it's like now because I go and visit only, but when I grew up, it was the safest place in the world. I mean, I remember going to, uh, you know, I, I lived in uh, Shakery's Passage, you know, and I'd walk all the way to Humphreys or something and, and knock on a door and say, eh, me me da un vaso de agua, and, and she'd, the lady would go, just go to the kitchen and get it, you know, it was just one of those places where everybody just was so friendly and loving and uh, um, I, I, I just wish the world was like Gibraltar used to be, you know. So you've lived in the UK, in LA, in Gibraltar. Mm. Do you feel more Gibraltarian, more I've American? I've always felt Gibraltarian. I've, you know, no matter where I've lived, I've lived the longest that I've lived is in Los Angeles, you know, um, 38 years. But uh, um, I've, I've always felt like I was a Gibraltarian, even though I was born in London and, and that whole thing. But Gibraltar was, you know, my parents are from Gibraltar, my grandparents. Uh, I mean, I just, uh, I'm a Gibraltarian uh, at heart and will always be. And does Albert Hammond have a favorite song? 
Uh, not really. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's hard to say. I, uh, you know, sometimes I say, you know, well, maybe the air that I breathe, oh, what a great song. And then I go, oh, yeah, but every time I hear One Moment in Time, I get tears in my eyes. And, and then when I see Julio singing to all the girls, you know, I, so I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think so. I, I think w what happens is you write a lot of songs to find a good one, you know. And um, you have to have the patience and the determination to understand that, you know, that it isn't just writing a song, you know, like you can't come to me tomorrow and say, come on, Albert, you're a hit songwriter, you're in the Hall of Fame, write me a hit, you know. I don't know how to do that. I mean, I'll write you a song, and then it's up to you to make it a hit, you know. <laughs> and when you look back, are there some songs perhaps that you feel that could have been better? Oh, no. I don't, I disagree with that. No, I, I think uh, there's been good songs and bad songs, but I could never better the bad ones or the good ones. I mean, they're just there. You, you know, songwriting is kind of a very short span of inspiration to start off with, you know, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And you have to be, you know, you have to be ready to put those 30 seconds down, you know. And then it's about hard work, you know spending a few days or sometimes 10 minutes, sometimes a month, you know, trying to finish the song. Can I ask you about uh, the performance at the Songwriters Hall of Fame Awards ceremony when you took to the stage to sing It Never Rains in Southern California. How did it feel? Oh, it felt great, you know. I mean, I, I said to myself, look, if you can't sing this after 38 years, you know, that you've been singing it, then you should give up. No, it felt fantastic, you know, and had a great band, great audience, um, and, uh, um, you know, and I, I had a family at my table, all from Gibraltar, which is very important, you know. Uh, and, uh, the, the, you know, it was just great. I mean, I just felt so good on stage, you know. No, more, more when I was singing than, than when I was talking, you know. Finally, is there a place at home already for the award trophy? Uh, you know, I'll probably take it to Gibraltar at some point and, you know, uh, show it to my mom and my family and stuff, you know. But, yeah, I mean, the, it'll be next to the Emmy and the Ivan Novello and all those other awards, yeah.